Here I'll show you how to use our Ash Design Essential Edit Photoshop action. So the first thing we want to do is just um, zoom in on the face and just make sure there's no areas that we need to uh, take care of with the patch tool. And I can, I can see one right here. So I'm going to go grab my um, patch tool quickly and I'm just going to circle the area that I want. Um, and I'm just going to drag it over um, so that it takes a bit from an area around it and sort of fills it in. And then you can see we've removed um, that area in there. Uh, the reason we're doing that is because we don't want the action to actually amplify that, so this will work out nicely. So now what we want to do is go ahead and run our action. Um, to do that, we'll go open up our action window. So we'll go up to uh, Window, Actions. And um, you can see here I've got my actions set to button mode. Um, the way to do that is to click on these horizontal lines over here, and you'll see I've got button mode checked off over here. Um, once it is in button mode, you can just simply click on the button, and that'll go ahead and that'll start running the action for us. The other option is to turn button mode off altogether, and to do that, just um, simply click on it again and you'll get your standard actions here. You can click on the action and just hit play. Um, you can see that this action has already played and it's populated our layer palette over here. So um, we can go ahead and we can get started. I like to start um, from the bottom up. So I like to start whitening the teeth. It's actually one of my favorite parts to do. So um, these actions are really pretty easy. We've already um, adjusted your layers, all you need to do is either paint with black or white in the layer masks to either um, reveal the um, effect or hide it. So we want to reveal um, the effect of teeth whitening. We want to make those a little bit whiter. So we're going to, um, we have a soft brush here. We want to paint with white, okay? Um, right now it's completely concealed because it's black. So let's go ahead and change our foreground color to white. That is white, and we'll click OK. And then we can come down, and let's make our brush just a little bit smaller, um, because you really only want to do this on the teeth. We don't want to whiten the lips at all, because that ends up looking a little odd. So let's go ahead and just come in here. And you can see it does a really nice job. I just love doing this. All right, and just, just somewhat, and then we'll go ahead and we'll do mother's teeth. All right, and that works really nicely. Now, um, if you feel that that effect is just a little too much, you have complete control over this. You can simply click on the opacity of this layer, and you can reduce it, or you can um, bring it up as high as you'd like. I kind of liked it at 100%. I think that worked pretty well. Now, the next thing, let's go ahead up to the eye pop layer. Um, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to open up this folder. And you're going to see in the eye pop layer, we have um, a sharpening pupils layer and we have a brightening lights layer. So let's go ahead and start with sharpening the pupils. What this is going to do is it's going to make our eyes nice and clear. So again, we've got the white brush. It's completely concealed right now. We want to reveal. So with a white brush, I'm going, going to go ahead and paint in there. And you can see how that really sharpened up the um, glare on her eyes really sharpened it up in there. Now again, that to me seems maybe a little bit bright, um, a little sharp rather, so I'm just going to reduce the opacity somewhat, or the fill, either one, um, and I think that works better for me. Now we can come in and we can brighten up um, the white parts of the eyes and also the catch lights. Um, let's come in to um, her blue eyes here. So I'm going to reduce the opacity of my brush quite a bit when I'm working in here. Um, I think even bringing it down to someone like a 10% is probably good because then you can sort of build on your effect. You don't want these whites to look too white because then it ends up looking um, pretty unconvincing. So again, we're painting in the black layer. We're painting with white to reveal. And let's just bring in, let's just brighten up those whites just, just a little. And you can get a little bit over there. We'll do the same here. And again, I'm just, I'm just sort of building this. 
Okay, now we're going to work on the catch lights here. Okay, so I'm going to maybe bring the opacity up. Let's try 20% my brush here. And I'm going to gently go in, and you only want to be painting sort of in this catch light layer. And I just want to brighten it somewhat. Just somewhat. And I really love the effect that this has um, on the eyes. So let's zoom out just a little bit. And if I were to turn off the eye layer, we'll turn it off and you can see the, the difference that it makes. And when we turn it back on, it really brightens her eyes up there. And let's go ahead and let's go uh, work on her mom's eyes now. So um, again, my opacity is at 20, so let's go ahead and work on her catch lights. Um, and normally, you're only brightening the part that is sort of opposite of the um, the bright sharpness in there. And don't overdo this either, because that ends up also looking um, just a little off. So again, we want to just sort of build this, and that, again, is why we keep our um, opacity low. I think that looks pretty good there. Um, and now let's go ahead, I'm going to bring my opacity back down to 10%, and I'm going to come in and I'm just going to do the whites of her eyes, and just try and build up some brightness in there. And let's try turning um, our layers off, and then back on. And you can really see how it, it brightens up those eyes. Um, so play with that to your heart's desire. Um, the next uh, here, the next layer is clarity. I like to use clarity on items, on sharp items like her earrings. So click on the mask layer, the painting with white, and <clears throat> let's bring our opacity back up. Um, let's bring it up to about 40%. And when you paint that in, you can see it, it'll sharpen up, you know, some bright objects like that. Um, I wouldn't do it on skin or anything like that, but it works real nice on jewelry and hard edges. Um, the next one is my second favorite part. This is where you can make skin look absolutely fantastic. Now, uh, the daughter's face looks pretty darn perfect to me. We might come in here and fix this up somewhat. So we're going to paint again in the mask layer. We're going to paint with white. We've got our, our brush set to, let's set it to uh, 50. Okay. And let's go ahead and just paint. And you'll see how it, it leaves some wrinkles. Uh, we want it to be realistic. But it doesn't, um, we're not going to notice it as much on hers because she's pretty darn perfect. But let's try going over to Mom. Sorry, Mom. You're beautiful. But let's go ahead and paint in here. I'm going to bring the opacity of my brush up a little bit because I'm having a hard time seeing that. So let's bring the opacity of our brush up to 100%. Now, the thing here is you can always, um, you can always, um, Bring the opacity of the layer up. I've got it set at 40%. You can see that here. Um, we'll go ahead and we'll paint in here and then we'll be able to see some of our changes take effect. And the important thing to note when you're um, doing the skin, you never want to hit any of uh, any edges like any of the lips or anything like that. You want to stay sort of inside the lines. It's almost like like doing a painting inside the lines. Um, you just want to go gently in there. You don't want to hit the hard edges of the nose or anything like that. But we'll sort of come in and just touch this up somewhat. Now, if I turn this layer on and off, you're going to notice a huge difference. That's the before. And there's the after. Now, this is at 40%. If I were to bring the opacity up, that's going to blur it even more in there. Uh, but we want to keep it realistic. So I think, for me, I like 40%. So I'm going to put it right back down to 40%. And let's zoom out somewhat. Now the other thing that's really great about this um, perfect skin layer is 
it does some wonder with some of these stray hairs. So I'm going to make my brush a little bit bigger, and I'm going to start painting out some of these stray hairs. So it'll do it subtly. Um, we don't want to remove them all together, but we want to kind of remove like the, the starkness of it. And um, that's what I like about this. I just happened upon this um, the other day when I was uh, playing around with this because this action is just so versatile. And I was surprised that it really did a nice, nice job on some of these flyaways. Again, the idea is not to take them away, just to sort of reduce um, the stark ones that are sort of sticking out. And again, if we turn it off, you can see how the, the stark hairs come back. And if we turn that layer back on, it just sort of mutes them somewhat. And I think that's really nice. Now, the next part of working our way up, uh, we get into our color retouching layers. Let's go ahead and open up this folder, and this has all sorts of things in here that um, you can work with on your photos. So um, you'll see that there's a vignette here. I'm going to zoom out somewhat. The vignette um, is just sort of a nice uh, dark edge all around everything. And playing around with these things, you can turn them on, you can turn them off. I kind of like the mood that it gives it. Um, we always leave you with a little bit of haze here. It's a 20% opacity. Um, that, again, you can turn on or turn off. I, I really prefer like a 20% opacity on this. Um, healthy Glow is very nice. Um, it's very, very subtle. But um, go ahead, let's go ahead and paint with that. And I like to just kind of go over the skin. Um, and let's bring our opacity of our brush down. Um, We'll go over very gently, just in the skin. And it's actually kind of nice if you reduce your brush. You, it can actually build some highlights in your hair, which I have some fun with sometimes. But it's just going to give that um, just a nice, healthy glow. You can put on our arms. And you're going to feel like maybe nothing's happening here. But when you turn it off, and then you turn it back on, you can see how it just it brightens it up somewhat. And again, the whole idea of this action is to just build on um, the layers before so that you get just this perfect essential edit. Um, and as we move down, there are some other items in here. Uh, recover dark areas. This is if you have some dark areas um, in your composition, we really don't here, but you would paint with white to reveal and it would just sort of bring back some of those areas. Um, also, if you have some blown out areas, if we move on down, um, same thing. If you paint with that um, white into this mask layer, it's going to help to um, sort of tone down those bright areas. Uh, color pop. We've got this set at 30% and you can see it's got a white uh, layer mask. That means the entire thing is revealed. Um, if there's anything on here that's too bright for you, you can certainly paint with black and paint it out. Or you can bring the opacity up and just add more color to your layer. I actually like a little bit more color there. Um, contrast is what you would expect. Uh, paint with white in there and you can add more contrast in the areas that you would like. I don't personally think that we need it in this, so I'm not going to do that. Um, add yellow, red, or blue, these layers. I like to use these on, um, you can use it on any part of your image, but I like to use it on the eyes, especially. Um, her blue is very nice. I don't think we need to add any more to her blue. But if we go um, to the mom's eyes, let's try adding, I actually like adding um, a little red in here. So I'm going to bring my brush down a little bit, just small, because we only want to paint it on, the, on her iris. And we'll add just a little red in there. And let's see, let's bring up the brush opacity up a little bit. And just a little bit. And you can even build on this, and you can add yellow as well. And it just sort of gives her green eyes just a little pop, and I just think that's, that's really beautiful. Um, so we're done with the color retouching layers. We can go ahead and close that up. Let's go ahead and zoom back out um, just to sort of finish up this action. And we've got uh, a couple of layers that are here, but they're turned off. 
So let's go ahead and turn on our sunset. This is going to get a, give an overall sunset feel. Um, it's set pretty low. It's a 20% low, a opacity here. Um, you can play with the opacity to your taste. I like to keep it low so that it doesn't um, you know, make my image too, too dark, too warm. And the last thing um, is your sunset glow. And this is all to taste if you want to have this on, that's fine. And you'll notice how it brought the little sunset glow up there. So what you can do is grab your move tool and um, you can move that glow around. So to actually move this, we want to double click on the sunlight glow. It's going to bring up our, our gradient fill here. This will allow us to move this sunlight glow wherever we want it to be. Um, I kind of like it just on top of their heads right here. I think that looks nice. I'm going to go ahead and click OK. And then you have the option of controlling the opacity of that. So you can bring it way up, which is way too much, um, or you can bring it down just to where you would like to see it. Or you can leave it off altogether. But I think it adds a real nice quality to your image. Um, so <clears throat> for me, the fun part is always to turn all the layers off to see the before and then to turn all the layers back on to see the masterpiece after. And that's how we use our Ash Design Essential Edit Photoshop Action. Mm -hmm.